Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of real-world ratios and percents. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 13 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got some dogs at a show, and the ratio of the number of large to small is 4 to 3. We're looking for how many dogs at the dog show are small, okay? So there's a few different ways that we could solve this. So there's a fast way, and I'll kind of reserve that for the end. If we're not sure how to set up this ratio, we can always just make a pretty detailed table, okay? So let me show that first, right? So we've got uh, the ratio of large to small is 4 to 3. So let's do it in that order, okay? So I've got large dogs. Then I've got small dogs. And then it doesn't give me a label, but there are 63 dogs at the show. It doesn't say whether they're large or small. So I'm going to add a third row right here called total. So what's the total number of dogs? And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this ratio right here. So large to small, right, is 4 to 3. And then I'm just going to add sets of 4 and 3, but I'm going to keep a running total because I need to know how many dogs there are. Right now I've got 7, right, and I'm waiting for this to go up to 63, okay? So I'm just going to add 4, right, so this can be 8. That's going to be 6. At 8 and 6, that's 14. So basically, you know, this is going to be a plus 4. So plus 3 and a plus 7. Okay, so that's going to be a plus 4, that's 12. Plus 3, that's 9. Add those two together, it's the same as plus 7, it's a 21. Okay, so that's going to be a 16, a 12, a 28. And you see we're slowly getting closer and closer so we'll get there eventually that's a 15 that's 35 right so i'm over halfway there so and add another 4 24 18 42 it's gonna be 28 21 49 getting closer and that's going to be 32 24 and that's 56 Maybe this one, 36, I've got 27, add that together, 63. All right, so I've hit my 63. So this is the column that I want right here. I need to make sure I read exactly what this is because I, because I don't, look, I see a 36 and I see a 27, right? So we need to read this. Small dogs. How many dogs are at small dogs? Small is right here, this middle row. So it's 27. Now, that was kind of the longer way, but it worked. You could just make a table as long as you knew to keep track of the large, the small, and the total. What's the simpler way to do that? Because I said there were two ways to solve this, right? So look at this ratio here. I only care about small dogs and total dogs, okay? So let's see if I can set up that ratio. Small. Um, let's see. Large to small is 4 to 3. So I've got 3 small. And I want to make... Totals always go in the denominator, right? So I'm looking for this 63. But what do I put right here? Well, I could look at it like this. In this original setup here, 4 and 3 make 7. Okay? So 3 out of 7 are small because the other 4 are large, right? So 3 out of 7, you can make it a fraction. And I need blank out of 63. So now we just have an equivalent fraction. And what do you multiply? 9, right? 9 gets you from 7 to 63, so multiply that by 9. And that also gets you 27. So that's a quicker way to get there if you can set up the original ratio, but they both work. The answer is going to be D. 27. 